Hey everyone, uh, you might recognize this little girl right here. This is Katana. I found her on the streets of South LA and now she is in training to go to her new home. Today I'll be working on a technique known as door dashing. Now Huskies, believe it or not, are one of the most common dogs you'll find escaped on the streets. And when I say escaped, it means these dogs are notorious escape artists. They hop out of backyards, they can climb six foot fences. And a very common way that these Huskies escape is the fact that they run out the front door. Now, a lot of people think that when you just open the front door, a dog is gonna naturally stay. It's actually quite the opposite. The dog will typically only stay if it's been door dash trained. So the first thing I have to do with her is test her to see if she's a door dasher. Most likely she is because surprise, surprise, she's a Husky. And surprise, surprise, she was also out on the streets, so guarantee she did escape. But I don't wanna just open the door and see if she runs out. Safety comes first, so I'm going to put her on what is known as a long lead, otherwise known as a lunge line. So this is a 30 foot leash, and all I'm gonna do is attach it to her collar, take off the regular six footer, and now I'm going to test her to see if she is a door dasher. So now I have my point of safety, so now when I open the door all the way, I'm just gonna let her do what she's gonna do. She runs out, I'm gonna simply step on the leash to stop her, and there is my answer if she is a door dasher. And door dash test, here we go. One, two, three, and are you a door dasher? Well, that will be a yes. Let me just go ahead and stop her, because I do not want her running on me. Well, there you go. Looks like a door dasher to me. So now it's time to train this. The process is simple, one inch at a time. All we're gonna do is open the door one inch and she has to prove that she's not gonna run out. Once she proves that, I'm gonna open one more inch and one more inch and so on and so forth until I can open the door all the way and she now can prove that she is not a door dasher. So here we go, the process is very simple. Treat bag, <clears throat> I got my bait bag on my side. Now all I'm gonna do, with lunge line still connected to her for safety, all I'm gonna do is open the door one inch and then shut it. You see how she tried to go out and I shut it right before she got there. And once again, I'm gonna back her up a little bit because I don't wanna slam her little nose in the door. So I'm gonna keep her back a touch. And again, one inch and shut it. I'm gonna do this over and over, one inch and shut. Now this process is a little repetitive, but it will pay dividends in the end. One inch and shut. And all I'm looking for here is for her to stand there and not go after that little tiny opening in the door. One inch and shut. She's starting to slow down now, which is progress. So watch this. One inch and shut. Good. I'm gonna pay her for that because she stood there and did nothing, which is exactly what I want her to do. So now I'm gonna repeat that process. One inch. Oh, she's going towards it, it's all right. We will just keep repeating the process, one inch. Good, I'm gonna praise her and pay her heavily for that. Good girl. And it's just that simple. So once again, one inch. Good. Oh yeah, this is easy. Same thing, one inch. Good, now watch this. We've mastered the one inch, let's go two inches. Good, perfect, and we praise and pay her. So once again, two inches. She's not trying to squeeze out that little tiny crack and good, praise and pay. Good girl. And around and around we go. And here we go. Now she's got two inches. How about three inches? Good, she's starting to understand now. Now she's more controlled. As you can see, she's gonna sit, which is a much more controlled animal. This is exactly what I'm looking for. And now, four inches. Good. There we go, beautiful. And from here, we can start moving pretty fast. And a little more. And there's gonna come a point here where she's gonna see that she can actually fit her body out the opening. She hasn't seen that yet. So I'm gonna keep rewarding her. Good girl. I guarantee any one of these times right now when I start opening it to where her body can fit out, she'll try to run out. And she might test the waters. If she doesn't, even better. Good girl! If she doesn't, that means she is learning at an efficient pace. And this is why I love Huskies because they are very intelligent dogs. They learn very quickly. So once again, open it. Now she can fit her whole body out there, no problem. Now she's going off pure technique. 
and she is sitting there like a controlled animal, as she should be. Good! She understands the game now. The less she does, the more she gets paid. So here we go. Now I'm gonna open it even more. Full slack leash, you can see she, if she wants to run out, she can. And if she tries to, I'm just gonna simply shut the door before she gets there. And if I can't shut the door before she gets there, I always have my leash as a backup safety. Good. Perfect, beautiful. And, boink. Let's see if she wants to run out. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, she thinks she's slick. She thought about it for a second, it's okay. As long as she doesn't run out, that's all I care about. And what do you think? You wanna run out this time? Mm-hmm. I like how she thought about that last one and then she stops herself. Good, perfect, beautiful. And once again, for good measure, all the way, take a step back. Giving her every opportunity. And she's not taking the bait. Heavy praise every time she does it well. Good, perfect. And last but not least, one more test. I'm going to open the door, walk outside myself. Now this is where the rubber meets the road because all I gotta do is take a few stomps on the ground, back her up. If she decides to come out, she has to understand she cannot come out of this threshold. So I'm just gonna back off a little bit and I'm just gonna do little ground stomps if she thinks about coming out. And that simply backs them up. There she goes, she sits down. Give her another few seconds here. I'm just gonna stand right here. And back up a little more. Ah, 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 ah. Again, a little ground stomp, just back her off. Just a touch. She might sit if she does even better. If she doesn't just as well, as long as she's not running out of this door. And once again, I'm just gonna back up a little bit and give her ah, 10, 15, 20 seconds here. Whatever you feel is necessary. There's no exact time limit. I just wanna make sure that I have a controlled animal here. That's all I'm looking for. And ah, she's losing interest. What the heck? So now I feel pretty good where we're at with the basic fundamentals of the door dashing. But here's the big question. Everyone's gonna ask, oh, what about when my dog has to walk out the front door? What about when I wanna take her for a walk? Good question. We have to give her a release command, okay? A release command is releasing her from the position she's in. Right now, she understands that she can't go out that front door when it opens. But there are moments where she can go out as long as I command her, I give her the cue. The release command is okay. All I'm gonna do is simply say the word okay and walk her past the threshold. But she cannot walk past that threshold until she hears the words okay. So here's how the process is gonna work. It's very simple. Same as before, leash in hand for safety. I'm gonna open the door all the way. Make sure she is good. I have slacked leash. She can run out if she wants, but she is respecting my commands. So from here, I'm gonna simply say okay, okay. Good, and I'll walk around just like that. And right back in, okay, okay, good. I wanna make sure she understands the okay is her cue to walking outside. She cannot walk outside unless she hears that magic word. So once again, leash in hand, open the door all the way. Slackly, she is now respecting my command. She's now respecting the technique. She is not wanting to run out the door until she hears the magic word. Okay, okay, good, there you go, nice. Beautiful. Okay, a couple more times, because now she has the basics of the technique. We are now going to condition this. So once again, leash in hand, open the door all the way. She is not running out. I'm gonna give her a couple seconds just to make sure. And then I'm gonna give her the magic Word, okay. Good, perfect, beautiful. And one more time for good measure. Three, two, one, open the door all the way. We have a slack leash. She's allowed to walk out that door if she wants to. She's choosing not to. 
until she hears that lovely word, okay. Good, perfect, beautiful, bravo. There you go. Good, nice. There you go, there you go. So that does it, now she has the basic fundamentals of the door dashing, and as you can see, she took about 15 minutes to learn this. If done correctly, if you took the exact same steps that I just did, you could teach your dog this in 15 minutes as well. I'm Brandon McMillan, thanks for watching.